Now let's continue to draw energy profile diagram of a reaction. Okay, so what are the important keywords here? Okay, first it says that draw an energy profile diagram for the following reaction. Okay, and then it is given nitrogen react with hydrogen produce ammonia. Okay, and then it's given enthalpy and it's given negative. Okay, another question is calculate the EA. EA is activation energy for the reverse reaction. If the EA for the above reaction is 300 kilojoule per mole. Okay, so now let us answer one by one. Okay, I will go to draw first. Okay, when you want to draw energy profile diagram, what are the important things? Okay, first of all, identify whether is it endothermic or exothermic. If it's negative, means that it is exothermic. Okay, so when you draw, means that the energy of reactant is higher than product. Okay, the energy of reactant is higher than product. Okay, and then how are you going to label it? Okay, first axis. Potential energy must have unit kilojoule per mole. And then the x-axis is reaction progress. Okay, must label correctly. So another one is label the reactant and product. Okay, we always start with reactant and then product. Okay, now next one. What do we want to what else do we need to label is given enthalpy h okay it is exothermic negative so remember the arrow must point downward to show that it is energy release and then don't forget the value okay next one is label the activation energy we usually only will label the forward reaction uh, sorry forward activation energy okay unless the question requires to draw both okay so when it is given here it is referring to a forward reaction means from reactant okay to the peak here okay for the forward one okay so here we have forward one so 300 kilojoule per mole okay so this is all about the and drawing energy profile diagram. Okay, next we go to calculate the EA for reverse reaction. Okay, when we want to calculate the EA for reverse reaction, okay, reverse reaction one will be referring to product to the peak. Okay, EA for reverse reaction. Why? Reverse means that just now the, our forward reaction is reactant to product. So if reverse reaction means product to reactant. Okay, so product to reactant. So this is the product. Okay, and then when we mention about EA, it always must refer to the peak. Okay, so this one is done. Okay, then after that, we just need to calculate the reverse activation energy. So that is we use enthalpy plus the forward EA. And don't forget one thing that is important, the unit for activation energy, no matter forward or reverse, must be in kilojoule per mole. Okay, now, another one. Okay, points to remember, look at enthalpy, endo, positive, negative is for exo. Okay, so this one will determine the shape. And usually EA forward, you must show it. EA reverse, only when it is required. Okay, now let's look at the difference between the EA reverse and EA forward. Okay, so if it's, if it's a exothermic reaction, okay, let us look at exothermic reaction. The EA reverse is from product to the peak okay if it's endothermic okay if it's endothermic it is also from product to the peak 
Okay, so this one I want to, uh, to uh, correct it a little bit. Okay, so EA reverse is from peak to product. EA forward is from reactant to peak. Okay, so that's all for energy profile diagram.